Hello, this is David Rowe, GNX Product Support Engineer for the Fan Booster Module. This is a video that will be avail made available to the maintenance community for the GNX program related to the tip clearance check and provide some instructions on how to do a tip clearance check effectively. Most importantly is to always use published tech data and if questions are needed to be asked, please contact your appropriate GNX product support personnel. Thank you and enjoy. To do the tip clearance check, there's a few things that you need to be aware of. Number one, whenever you do the tip clearance check, you need to make sure that the inlet cowl is removed. Any added weight on the fan stator will alter your readings and give an inaccurate assessment of what your measurements are. So as you can see here, we have F1.5 marked on the case and this is also a reference point. The important thing when you take this measurement is you take it off your seam. You're doing this measurement at the six o'clock location. Here is your six o'clock seam in the abradable shroud between the two panels. You wanna take your reading off of the seam. A one to two inches would be sufficient to do this uh, measurement, but you do not wanna do it on the seam because that could alter your indications. We're gonna use this steric gauge for our measurement. Uh, there is also a taper gauge and you could also use feeler gauges to do the measurement. As you can see here, the steric gauges come in different thicknesses that will give you the indications of your tip clearance in each one of these offerings. You can see there are different thicknesses between each one and your dimensions are written right on the gauge itself. What you want to do before you start your measurement is you want to give the fan rotation um, two times in the clockwise direction forward looking aft. As you are aware the GNX engine rotates in the clockwise direction forward looking aft as opposed to several of other G GE models. So we're just going to give this two rotations. There we go. So starting at our number one blade, take our gauge, and you don't you want to be in an angle at approximately a 45 degrees in relation to the forward edge of the shroud. So you want to put your blade in place, slide your gauge in. Now the other thing that you want to make sure of, this is the forward facing edge of the blade, better known as the suction side or the convex side of the blade. The back side where I'm showing my hand here is the concave pressure side of the blade. This is where, this is this edge on the tip that you want to make your measurements, okay? So you want to read your clearance measurement from this side of the blade. So we're going to reposition ourselves here. And your reading should come off the pressure side or the aft side of the blade when you make your measurement. So again, you're going to do that for 18 locations for each, uh, for 18 blades at the same location. Again, rotating the fan in the clockwise direction, forward looking aft. You position your gauge at about a 45 degree angle and at F1.5, put it in place. And again, reading your clearance measurement off of the concave or pressure side of the blade, which is this aft side here where my hand is rubbing up against. You can see here, on the camera. So that's how you do a tip clearance check. You do that for all 18 blades. Thank you for your time.